Thank you very much. So my name is Alan Blair. I am a part of Briggs and Blair. I've been working uh, in the realm of sexual harassment, sexual assault for the last 21 years. And I spent 17 of those years working in the military, specifically the Air Force. Um, throughout my career, I've had the opportunity to help set up the sexual assault program in the Air Force back in 2005. I've also had the opportunity to work literally with hundreds of victims slash survivors of sexual assault. I have had the opportunity to also train thousands of either military members or civilians working on military bases. I've also had the opportunity to speak at national conferences, do community in the work, um, and, and also I had an opportunity to even train, you know, a few members of, of Congress. So this is something that is, is, is near and dear to me. Didn't think that I would have spent 17 years within the Air Force, but, you know, 22 years in total working in this field. But I'm happy to share the knowledge and, and also just some of the research and training that Amanda and I have done. So I'm Amanda Briggs, so happy to be here today. My background is I have been in this field of advocacy either full or part-time for about 17 years. I am a proud Air Force and Space Force veteran, so I commissioned into the Air Force as an active duty officer, and I worked in national defense policy and then space operations. And then in 2020, when we set up the Space Force, I cross-commissioned into the Space Force and I was a test director for experimental satellites. And one of my favorite things about my time in the military is that in addition to my day job, which was usually, you know, as an officer, very much focused on taking care of people, taking care of troops, but also taking care of the mission. And I had the opportunity to be part of a lot of initiatives for national defense around space policy. But in addition to that, I got to do just an enormous amount of advocacy and volunteerism within the DOD. So not just limited to the Air and Space Force. So that was really neat. And that is actually how Alan and I met. We met when I was stationed at Randolph Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas. And he was the director for Air Education and Training Command for those of you who are familiar with the military. That's a very high level organization within the Air Force. And he was the Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Coordinator and, you know, those trainings in the military, they're mandatory, and a lot of people tend to have negative attitudes about them at times just because they're very focused on, hey, don't rape each other. And a lot of us know that, you know, we know that we're not going to go to work and commit sexual crimes toward each other. But the way Alan approached that topic with so much compassion and emotional intelligence and just the hearts and minds campaign he was running, I was like, that is someone I want to work with. So we ended up doing just an enormous amount of volunteerism and advocacy within the DOD. And through that, you know, between that and my work in the civilian world, I have had the honor of speaking with thousands of survivors at this point, so many family members, uh, other people who are impacted by sexual assault and sexual harassment. And I was able to write and release a book on healthy and helpful response about that. And after I retired from the Air Force or the Space Force last year, I called out and was like, I got this crazy idea. Let's start a consulting firm where we really help organizations and communities and families not just prevent these issues from occurring because we care very much about prevention, but Alan and I kind of have a niche where we focus on, okay, this, is, this has happened, there's been a trauma. Now, how do we move forward? How do we heal? How do we thrive?